Members of the House of Representatives have called on the federal government to intervene and immediately halt the repatriation of Almajiris to their states of origin. This formed part of the resolutions of the lawmakers during Tuesday's plenary at the lower chamber of the National Assembly in Abuja. They made the call following a motion sponsored by a member of the House, Aisha to Duku. According to Duku, the repatriation of our Marjories is against the fundamental human rights of any Nigerian to reside in any part of the country. She also expressed concerns over the mode of transportation they were subjected to. Joining us via Skype is a legal practitioner, Luboros Oshoma, to discuss this. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, my pleasure. What do you make of the House uh, call um, to halt the repatriation of these children back to their states of origin? Uh, I think the, that call was hasty. Uh, the House should have um, set up a committee to investigate what actually is happening before making that hasty call. Uh, because um, from um, uh, the motion and then the report from the House, it's as if the House is not seized of all the facts of the matter. There are basic questions that the House ought to have asked that they are not asking. Um, there is a national lockdown. Um, why is it that um, Almajiris are suddenly moving down south? Um, the lockdown is eased in some areas and they allow only movement of um, uh, goods and essential goods and services like food and medicals. How come Almajiris are moved in these uh, you know, trucks where you have um, goods you know, in some cases? How come that, um, you know, why... Um, are the uh, Almajiris the only people allowed to move, you know, within, within these large numbers and, uh, you know, with goods and services? How come I've not answered those questions? I think uh, the, the House should have done a fact-finding, gone on a fact-finding mission by visiting some of these areas and some of, in some of these videos that we have seen before hurriedly, you know, making that resolution. This is not a case of governors hurriedly hounding Almajiris in their state and banding them to their state of origin. It wouldn't it, that be that as it may. How do you even determine which state of origin they are from? This is a case of a situation where Almajiris who are apprehended at borders on their way to, into some of the states in, in the star, south, they are sent back to where they are coming from. So it's, it's a different matter, and that's why I think that the House of Rep ought to have um, done a detailed investigation before coming up with this hasty uh, 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 resolution. Uh, some acknowledge that it is indeed against the fundamental human rights in the context of the right of any Nigerian to reside anywhere uh, to repatriate these children. But in this pandemic that we are in, is there some justification um, in the action, considering a lot of our human rights are already being curtailed uh, by measures to curb the spread of the virus? Yeah, the question here is not um, about uh, violation of human rights or the fact that um, you are refused from living in any part of the world. The question here is restriction of movement across borders. There's a national lockdown of borders. There is... Um, a, 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 a directive by the federal government stopping interstate, you know, movement. Somebody, even some people that work in Ogun State, you know, are refused that people that live in Ogun State but work in Lagos are refused from coming to work in Lagos because there is a national lockdown. But how come somebody will travel all the way from Sokoto or from Kabi or from Zamfara? in a truck carrying uh, 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 cattle down to Lagos, down to Ogu, down to, down to uh, those states, unrestricted? Those are the questions we should be asking. It is not, it is not the fact that Armageries are being repatriated. There's a difference between repatriation where you reside in Lagos. If, for example, let, the Lagos let, let State government... Let me interject quickly, you know, um, uh, Mr. Liboros. The... The, the question here, it, we, we have a situation where we've seen um, Amadiris taken to a state and a state governor sending, back, sending them back to the states uh, that they uh, came from. Isn't this a case of double jeopardy, jeopardy rather? 
Yeah, you, you, because for like that the case of is it Casino or Cano, yes, the case of a Kaduna State, where the governor, uh, you know, um, arrested some Almajiris and sent them to Kano or so. Uh, the Kano State government returned them back to Kaduna State. That um, because how did the governor determine that these Almajiris are from all of them are from Kano and return them to Kano? That's one point. That's a different case from when a truck coming from Kano, for example, is intercepted in a those states with Almajiris, and the governor decides to send that truck with its occupants back to Kano State. That is not repatriating. Um, uh, Almajiris from Can uh, those states. But, but what isn't that means it really is worrying that lockdown. these are children? They don't seem to have elderly escorts taking them around. They are just bundled in what the member of the house described as dehumanizing a mode of transportation that you are also describing yourself. You know, the, the, that, is, that is why I said the house should have done an investigation to determine who took them from where they are coming from in the first place to the state where they are being sent back from. That's the, the question that the House refused to answer. The House should, shouldn't be in a hurry to want to pass a populist motion. The House should have investigated. How come you have a hundred children from Kano, Katsina, somebody put them in a truck and is taking them to Enugu State, for example? Who is in charge of the truck? Who took those children from Kano and is taking them to Enugu State? You don't blame the governor of Enugu State for sending them back to Kano. It is not the governor's responsibility to take care of them in this time of national lockdown and the pandemic that we are in. There is a reason for even imposing a lockdown in the first place. And, and so the question should be, that person that... How, uh, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? That person that is transporting those children from, say, Kassina State to Enugu State should be arrested. All right, That's um, the first thing that the, the House of Reps should have done. Uh, well, we're out of time, but I'd like to pick your thoughts quickly. Um, we're out of time, but just um, your thoughts quickly on the suggestion uh, to Northern governors to ensure that they capture these children in the universal basic education. Um, this isn't new, but for the purpose of learning, how do you think this will work post-COVID-19? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's like, thank God you said this. It, it, it isn't new. It's not new, but I, have, I had expected also the House should hold most of these northern governors responsible. A situation where you have children who are of school age roaming the streets in the north with plates and begging left, right, and center. And the governors, governors of that state have not done anything to ensure that they declare that free education for them or they make primary, basic primary education compulsory for these kids so that they will not be used for what they are being used for. But they hinge onto religion all in the name of... Uh, you, you allow these kids to roam the street all in the name of religion. Now, I don't think any religion encourages begging in Nigeria or encourage, encourages, you know, the, the poverty the way we spread it. But because of failure of leadership and so... I, that's where I want to hold our leaders responsible. It will be difficult for them to do because they really don't even have the data. But they will need, will need to start from somewhere. It is a good development. We need to start from there and ensure that most of these children are compelled to be enrolled in school. And right. parents that refuse to enroll their kids in school, then government can now, you, you know, let them face the music. But Thank they you must very also much. provide for such parents. Thank you for your thoughts on the news. It's appreciated. My, my pleasure.